liturgy comprises of Eucharistic sacrifice and sacraments which were instituted by Jesus and sacramentals instituted by the church. While the former is unchangeable in substance, the latter in number and contents may vary from place to place. And therefore, liturgy is one and multiplex. That is, its substance remains same, but manner of performance differ. Why? As said above, the origin of liturgy is in Jesus. The apostles who received them adopted different mode of performing them based on their individual taste. The fathers of the church who succeeded the apostles too did the same. Gradually, liturgy assumed their definite shape in different ways at different places. The items instituted by the church too have gone through similar developments. But the substance never changed from what instituted by Jesus. What are the other factors? Culture, environment, needs of different places have a big role in this. The Jewish background of the infant church and the scripture do have a role. Liturgy is sometimes referred to as theological tradition due to the influence of the sacred book and biblical training. The different types of liturgy were originated at the main Christian centers. Naturally, small centers have adopted these liturgies with or without minor changes. Mutual borrowing are also done at times by always making sure that the individuality of a liturgy is never affected. Then, where do liturgies differ? In the development of liturgies into types, changes and variations can be seen in terms of liturgical texts, liturgical calendars, actions, gestures, ecclesiastical music, architecture, art, vestments, and so on. We must note that all these growth must happen under the care of the Holy Catholic Church. An interesting fact is that contributions can be received from non-Catholics too. As Saint Augustine says, Whoever is a good and true Christian, let him recognize that truth wherever found belongs to his Lord.